hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential problem solution from here from the law of indices when we have a raised to power m minus n the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n that is what we have here can be written as 5 raised to power x over 5 raised to power 2 which is equals to 30 on this side then this is also 30 over 1 then let's cross multiply here 5 raised to power x times 1 is still 5 raised to power x then equals to 30 times 5 square here then next step we can take the log on both sides that is here we have log 5 raised to power x then this side we have log into bracket 30 times 5 squared that is from the power law of logarithm from log m raised to power p which is equals to p log m then here this becomes x log 5 equals to log 30 times 5 square from here then next step here we can divide both side by log 5 so divide here by log 5 and also divide here by log 5 that is log 5 cancel each other here then we have x which is equals to log 30 times 5 square then over log 5 now from the law of log reading when we have log a times b is the same thing as log a plus log b that is what we have here now becomes x equals to log 30 plus log 5 square then over log 5 then from here we can separate this fraction into two fractions and we have x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus log 5 square over log 5 that is from here we can rewrite 30 as 5 times 6 from here then this becomes x equals to log 5 times 6 then over log 5 plus here from power log 2 can come here and we have 2 log 5 over log 5 and from what we have here log 5 cancel each other here we have 2 left then this becomes x equals to from the law of logarithm we have log 5 plus log 6 here then over log 5 plus 2 on this side then also we can separate this fraction into 2 and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 6 over log 5 then plus 2 here and also log 5 cancel log 5 here we have 1 so here we have x now equals 2 here we can add 1 plus 2 that's 3 so we have 3 plus log 6 over log 5 then also here we can simplify further because 6 here can be written as 2 times 3 that is this becomes x equals to 3 plus 
log 2 times 3 then over log 5 that is from here applying the law of logarithm this becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 5 then also we can separate this into two fractions and this becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 5 then plus log 3 over log 5 that is here from change of base also when we have log a over log b yeah this is same thing as log a to base b that is here we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 to base 5 then plus log 3 to base 5 so here we have the value of x in this given problem as 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 then let's check to confirm if this will satisfy the given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 then what we have becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 is this equals to 30 from here that is okay we have minus 2 here is it equals to 30 and from here 3 minus 2 that's 1 so we can see this is 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 is it equals to 30 from here then applying the law of indices here from a raised to power m plus n which is a raised to power m times a raised to power n what we have here is same thing as 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is equals to 30 from here then 5 raised to power 1 same thing as 5 then times here follows from when we have a raised to power log b base a which is equals to b that is here same thing as 2 then times here same thing as 3 is equals to 30 from here then we have 5 times 2, that's 10, times 3, that's 30, which is equals to 30 here. Left hand side equals to right hand side. And hence from here, we can conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Give a thumbs up and put your comments. Thank you. See you next class and bye for now.